What's up guys, it's Abbott T from Combat Culture and we are back with another one of our glove review videos. So in this video, we are going to focus primarily on glove brands from Thailand. So you guys have probably heard about Fairtex and Twins and Yokao. Those are the big ones. Today we are going to cover over some that you may or may not have heard of. Stay tuned. So the first gloves we're going to cover today are the Buakao's BGLW1s. These are part of Buakao's line of products. And I'm normally a little hesitant when it comes to products that are attached to a recognized name because they usually tend to rely more on the strength of the individual's brand more than the quality of the product. But I was pleasantly surprised by these gloves. So these are well-made gloves. They're malleable easy to open it does have a sturdy cuff as you'll find in most muay thai gloves and it is relatively roomy i think overall it's a high quality glove as of right now the easiest place to get them is from the super export shop or if you're shopping around in thailand you'll probably see Cow's line of products in the bigger malls and as a reference point i picked these up for about 71 usd so the next pair of gloves we're going to cover are the B Legends, B-G-L-L-P. The gloves are made from microfiber. I found the padding to be way more on the stiff side, especially on the backhand portion of the glove and also inside the finger box. Now at about $44, I think the price is fair for what you get. I do think there are better gloves at this price point, although I think they do have a place in your gear bag if you are looking for a pair of beater gloves. Moving on to our next gloves is going to be the Moncol new gen model. So really quickly, this is not to be confused with another brand that's very similar in name and that's the Moncol Muay Thai Fight Gear Company which is based in San Diego. This company as I understand it is based in Thailand. So the glove itself is made from high quality foam. Uh, definitely not too packed. I felt as if it was good distribution. I thought that the gloves had good wrist protection, pretty malleable and easy to open so it made it really easy to clean. Lynch. I personally bought these gloves in Thailand at the Action Zone store and from what I can find online I think this specific model may be discontinued but they do have several other models that do look very similar to this particular one. For a reference point I picked up these gloves for about 68 USD and it seems like that's around the average price point for most of their gloves. So the next model we're going to look over is going to be the Raja Porsche. So Raja the brand itself has been around since the late 90s. Their line of gloves is your traditional Thai style glove that's going to be a little bit on the shorter end with good pad distribution that's going to be focused primarily on the back end of the glove with the really sturdy but stiff wrist cuff. I felt the foam on the gloves were a little bit more on the soft side which I actually appreciated because it lessened the break-in period. Compared to some of the other gloves that I've used uh, these were definitely more on the malleable side as I mentioned with the softer foaming and also very easy to open and close which made clinching very natural. Also when it comes to the interior of the glove definitely not too snug but I do want to note that the finger box is a little bit on the short side so if you have longer fingers or bigger hands that may potentially be an issue. But if hand sizing isn't going to be a problem I think at about 45 USD this is really going to be a hard price to beat. So the next brand and model that we're going to cover is one of my favorites in my current rotation and that is the Thai is my BG121. So the brand itself has been around since the 1960s so they've been around for quite some time and definitely a very solid brand. This specific glove that I have is more of a boxing style hybrid glove so not your traditional Thai style gloves maybe part of the reason why I enjoy using it so much. Uh, it's definitely very very soft foam almost pillowy to kind of the winnings uh, level. Level. Some people say this is actually a good alternative to winnings and at about 70 to 80 dollars I think it's an absolute no-brainer Especially if you're looking for something that's more of a boxing style hybrid glove This is a very reputable brand and if I were to recommend any glove from this video This would probably be among the top choices as of right now The best place to purchase these gloves is on their storefront on eBay so moving on to the next gloves we're going to cover is going to be the Pride Conqueror gloves. So the Pride company, I believe, is owned by the same family who owns Pechin Dijim in Bangkok. Uh, I believe the family member who manages the Pride portion of the company has a background in fashion. And you can tell because they have a pretty active streetwear line and their shorts do sport some pretty cool designs as well. Now onto the glove themselves. I found the glove design to be minimalist but also very intentional. 
Now, when it comes to the build of the glove, I felt as if this was definitely more on the stiffer side from a lot of the other gloves that I've used. It's definitely got a stiffer wrist cuff and also the foam uh, throughout the glove is more on the stiffer side. So much so I had a hard time making a fist, but you know, after a few uses, it did eventually break down, although it still was on the stiffer side. Now for about $100 or so, there's definitely a lot of other gloves within that price range. I think the gloves are perfectly fine and will definitely do the job. I would only recommend if you're a fan of the design and the brand itself. Now moving on to one of the newest brands that we're going to cover today, one that in fact has not even set a sizable footprint in the Western market, and that's the Fighter brand. This one strikes me as more of a hybrid boxing glove, similar to the Tie is My glove that we covered earlier. Uh, the foam in itself for this specific glove was on the softer side. Uh, I felt as if it was pretty roomy in there, and again, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, so this may be a good option if you can find it if you have relatively larger hands. I do want to note that the glove did cut into the portion of my hand that was between my thumb and index finger. Now it seems that as of right now they are primarily targeting uh, the domestic market like I mentioned earlier the website's still a work in progress so it might be hard to get your hands on these gloves and it might just not be worth the trouble especially since they go for about $130. So the next brand we're going to cover is SKS. Uh, so SKS was actually founded in 2013. Uh, they do have a brick and mortar shop in Bangkok uh, in the same neighborhood as all the other gear shops such as Bull Sport and Action Zone. Now the glove that I'm covering is the Sock Yacht glove. The reason why I got it is because I'm a really big fan of the design. The glove in itself, uh, just like any other traditional Muay Thai style glove, was malleable, easy to open, good for clinching. Finger box was a little bit on the shorter side. The wrist cuff, like most gloves, most Muay Thai gloves, is going to be on the sturdy, stiff side. And it's got good ventilation. Uh, when I bought these gloves, I got them for about 78 USD. And, you know, that's a pretty enticing price point. So if you're a fan of the design, I definitely think this is a glove that's worth pulling the trigger for. And the next gloves we're going to cover is going to be from the DECA brand. And this is the 3.0 DBGVL. The best way to really summarize these gloves is that they are are solid Muay Thai style gloves no frills. These are going to be a little bit on the stiffer side which is going to take a little bit of breaking in compared to some of the other models that we've covered today. The finger box is a little bit on the shorter side so that's something to keep in mind if you've got longer fingers. Foam padding around the forearm is a little different but I do appreciate that and maybe it does lend itself a little bit better to kickboxing. I definitely found that the thumb box had a lot of room okay so that's definitely something to keep in mind that your thumb may be swimming around. Now the gloves are compact but sturdy. I'm a really big fan of the minimalist design. They feel great and at the price of $50 USD, you really can't go wrong. So next up is going to be the Primo Classic Series. Now this brand was founded in Thailand. Their primary focus is Muay Thai. This specific model is on the snug side and I felt as if it has one of the longer break-in periods amongst the different gloves that I've tried. Uh, I definitely think once you do break them in, they are very, very high quality gloves, uh, very malleable and also very compact. It has a relatively slim profile. Now prices will be going up and that's because this is one of the fastest growing bands in the world of Muay Thai and as of the making of this video they most recently had signed San Chai onto their brand so that could be a potential indication of things to come but having said that I think this is a solid model uh, it cost me about a hundred dollars or so and I've actually seen a couple of different team members and folks from other gyms that I've visited using Primo gear so if you're looking for something new and different I'd say this is a good brand to consider moving on we are gonna cover Sandy uh, the model specific is the authentic velcro black and white leather boxing glove the company has been around since 1977 and chances are you have probably seen their branded gear whether it is heavy bags tie pads or boxing gloves somewhere in some gym you've trained at now the glove build is going to be similar to most of the other Muay Thai gloves that we've covered today and what that means is that it's gonna have a relatively shorter profile with a stiff cuff and foam distribution that is gonna be primarily focused on the backhand of the glove 
love. Now these gloves were very malleable. They were super easy to open and close. So clinching was easy to do with these gloves on. The interior was soft and roomy. One thing I do want to note about this gloves is that if you live in Europe, these may be good alternatives if some of the other Thai brands are harder to get a hold of. So the last gloves I'm gonna cover today, it's kind of cheating, but they are the Combat Corner HMIT. That stands for Handmade in Thailand. Now, Combat Corner is an American company, but these gloves are made in Thailand. It is kind of cheating, but I want to throw these in as well. Now, Combat Corner, the brand, is pretty active in the North American Muay Thai scene. If you have competed in North America, you have probably seen or even used their gloves in a competition. So one thing I do want to know about the build of the glove is that it's a bit on the longer side. The cuff is short, but the rest of the glove is relatively long. So keep that in mind, especially if you have smaller hands, you might have a hard time fitting the glove and closing your hand all the way. The glove, when it first came, you know, was on the stiffer side and it did take a couple of sessions to break in. And I'm still in the process of breaking it down. But, you know, aside from that, it's definitely not too bulky. I felt as if it had good pad distribution, also good ventilation as well. And the materials did seem like high quality materials, which matches price tag at about $130 USD. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, learned a little something new, maybe about some brands that you have not heard of before. We will be coming out with more videos in the near future, including more glove review brand videos. But until then, let us know if there's something you want to see. Hit the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you guys in the next one.